What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Rather than talking about the whole assortment of records that I've been buying as of late or any one particular album that I think is worth checking out, I wanted to focus instead on one particular song that I thought would be worth checking out. And that song today is this guy right here. This is Searching for Soul, Jake Wade and the Soul Searchers, which just to set the record straight has absolutely nothing to do with Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. But I do recommend that you give the Soul Searchers a listen. As you can see, I have Salt of the Earth and their absolute undisputed classic, Busting Loose. Definitely recommend that you pick both these guys up because both of them have legendary samples and breaks on them. And speaking of legendary breaks and samples, this guy right here may just be my all-time favorite drum break. And not only that, it is probably one of my all-time favorite funk songs. There's just something about every element of this track working absolutely perfect for me. The drums are absolutely incredible and sound like absolutely nothing like the majority of drum breaks out there. There's a wicked bass groove on here. There's some really cool guitar going on on here. And there's these amazing horn blasts that pop up throughout the entire track that just all come together to create this perfect storm of a funk track. I tried doing a little bit of re research about this song and there really isn't much to go by. One, Jake Wade and the Soul Searchers only released this one record. Two, they're from Detroit and they were basically like hometown heroes. Some of them would go on to work with other bands and other musicians. I think I read something about them or someone in the band going on to work for Meatloaf and that's really all there is to it. There's very little information about these guys. It seems like they released one record on a very small Detroit label called Mutt Records, and that was pretty much it, which is a real shame, but I think that's just one of the interesting things about diving into the world of deep funk. There are so many amazing tracks where an artist would release one song and they just completely disappear. Jake Wade and the Soul Searchers seemed like they were another casualty of a music industry that was pumping out records that did not know what to do with them. That was fun, that was fun, that was fun, that was fun, or as my history with this record goes, I first learned about it through the product placement DVD, which was a DJ set with DJ Shadow and Cut Chemist. In the DVD, there was a portion where they talked about some of the other warm-up DJs that were part of the show. Shortcut popped up, and for his little snippet, he played Jake Wade and the Soul Searchers, and I was immediately struck by that. There is, like I said, there is something about that groove. There is something about the drums on there, and I think a lot of it had to do with the way that Shortcut just destroyed that track. But from there, I went on to buy this record here, which is Strange Breaks and Mr. Thing on BBE Records. Grab this compilation. This is one of the finest weird funk and soul jazz compilations that you can get. All three are great. Two is my favorite, as you can tell by the beat up spine. And I actually ended up buying this back in 2010. I think I picked it up at Guinness Records, which if memory serves me right, that is legendary Japanese hip hop producers slash beat makers, New Job Ez's record store. But anyways, I heard Jake Wade and the Soul Searchers. I think it was one of the first tracks that I dropped the needle on and I was immediately sold on picking up this compilation. So from this compilation, I've been looking to buy this track on 7-inch for the longest period of time. Figured I was never gonna pick it up or never get a copy of an original because Fuck paying $200 for a record. Seriously, I looked it up on Discogs. The median price for this record is about 180 bucks, and that is way beyond my price range, especially for a record that I want to share with people. I mean, this is a record that I think for anyone who has never heard, uh, who has no knowledge of the world of funk and soul, they hear this track, and it might actually make a believer, which is why I'm gonna play a little snippet of it for you.
So just from those opening lines, you can tell that there's some almost masterful musicianship going on here. The band is really playing to the negative space of this track. There's a lot of openness when it comes to the guitar, the bass groove. They're, the guitar, the bass groove, and the drums, they're all playing off of each other, leaving just enough space to really give this song all of its funk and all of its power. And that's only the intro of it. It gets even crazier when the horns start acting up on this song later on in the track. Let's get into that. To me, when the song gets closer to the end and the, the horn blasts start coming in, they feel a little bit detuned and they feel like they're not exactly perfect. There's just this sort of raw energy that comes in with this track that I just absolutely love. And it's that, 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 that perfect storm of perfect band interplay between the guitar, the drums, the bass, and the horns all working together to make what I feel like is an absolute funk masterpiece and definitely one of my favorite records of all time. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you liked this style of video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. I've been toying around with this idea for a while, and after doing that last recent record pickups video where I actually played a record in the video, I felt like this was a better way to do content than for me to just always constantly be showing you the record, and that's pretty much it. But as always, if you want to check this track out for yourself in full, please go over to to my WordPress or Steam It blogs because that's where I will be posting the full audio links for songs like these. Also make sure you go over to my Mixcloud page because that's where you can check out Raw Select Radio. Raw Select Radio is the audio component of this YouTube channel as well as my WordPress blog. There you can hear me play records not only like this but as well as a whole assortment of records that I don't talk about on this channel or I don't talk about my, on my WordPress. Check that out. Links for everything, as always, are down in the description. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. So until then, peace out!